When you walk through those doors, you see who this team is, how they think. It's where the champions hang out. It's their office. It's where they train. And when you walk in, you're entering the home of champions, the Giants Clubhouse. Hi, I'm Jeremy Atfeld. Welcome to the Giants Clubhouse. Come on in. The clubhouse. The old clubhouse was very narrow, and it was cold, it wasn't inviting, and it didn't feel like we were connected. This new clubhouse, after the first championship, they started thinking about, what does a championship clubhouse feel like? And they squared it up a little bit more, and they put the right angles in so that everybody could see everybody, you could talk to everybody, and you want to go out on that field feeling like a team so that you function together. And that's what this clubhouse does. And that's what makes championship teams run. In this room exists every helmet, every jersey, every jacket, every pair of pants, the socks, the batting gloves, Anything and everything a player puts on to go play a game comes from this place. When you watch that player on the field, this is where the uniform started. This is where the championships start. This room doesn't look like much. It looks like a standard laundry room. But to a baseball player, it means more than that. A clean jersey, represents a new day. You don't dwell on the past victory or the past defeat. Every game starts 0-0. The player's cafeteria starts early. Before the players show up, the chefs are busy preparing the food. And this is one of the most important rooms for an athlete. Restoration and nutrition. With the off days getting reduced, the travel getting harder and longer, their bodies tend to break down and they need to have the right fuel to help them function on the field all the time. In order to be a champion, you have to eat like a champion. This is it. This is where guys go and this is where they hang out. This is where the player does his own scouting report. This is where the pitcher learns how to pitch a hitter or a hitter learns how to face a starting pitcher or a relief pitcher based on the situation they're gonna be in. The coach's conference room is also called the war room. The videos being watched here are being watched through a coach's eye. They watch certain guys, how they pitch, how they hit. Defensive shifts are being discussed. Who's coming in late off the bench? Lineups are being discussed. This is where the coaches do everything a coach does to prepare and help his team win a game. This is the coach's locker room. Same setup as the players, but on a smaller scale. The angles are the same. They can see each other and they can talk to each other. They are a team. When it comes to the gym, you train like an athlete. You walk into that room and you think power. You don't think bulk. The way we train now versus 20 years ago is different. We're sport specific. We're position specific. Every cardio machine, dumbbell weight, all designed for the baseball player to be the most explosive, powerful, strong athlete they can possibly be. Athletes are like machines. They all need to be tuned up from time to time. When we break down, stuff doesn't feel right. This is the room we come to. It's like a garage for a car. And when you want a finely tuned machine to work properly, you need a mechanic. Trainers are mechanics. And they've been provided everything they need 
The work that happens in this room keeps us on the field. And without it, we can't do what we do and compete at the level we need to compete at. This is where championships are won. The sleep room is self-explanatory. You go into the room, you shut the door, you turn the lights off, it goes pitch black, you rest. Rest is important for the athlete to be able to be recovered and ready to function every day, all day. Like the other two rooms you're in, the hydrotherapy room is all for the athlete to prepare or to recover. Whether it be the hot tub to warm your body up pre-game, or the cold tub to cool your body down after the game, or the swimming pool to rehab your body from the muscles that are hurting from the game. It's also called the cannonball room. This is where you pick up a trainer and you throw them in the pool after you win a championship. We like those days. The bat room lounge. The player's day is busy. The locker room fills up with media, stories are being written, and sometimes we just want to get away for a break. So we come up here to relax. But as he walks up those stairs, he looks and he sees the pictures of all the legends that played in a Giants uniform, reminding them they put on a uniform Hall of Famers, MVPs, past champions all put on and all help pave the way to be on the field that they're on today. And as you walk up into this room, you see the bats. The bat room was designed like a wine cellar. And you see labels, Buster Posey, Brandon Crawford, Hunter Pence, Madison Bumgarner even. New Hall of Famers, new legends. This hall is current history, from perfect games to playoff runs. In these pictures, you remember what brought three trophies to San Francisco. The winning moments you see in those pictures all come down to those bags being packed and those trunks being filled to go with us on the road. Bruce Bochy's office. You're going to walk by that office coming into the clubhouse and when you leave the clubhouse. It's the first guy you see and the last guy you're going to see a lot of times because he's the guy that runs the ship. His door's always open. If you got a problem, you can address it. His only rule, if you don't want the answer, don't ask the question. When I walk into the clubhouse, I'm a Major League Baseball player. I think like a Major League Baseball player. I train I eat, I prepare like a Major League Baseball player. That's the mindset. That's what this whole place is about. This is where the championships start.